and the MX60 coming out goes the plus from the MX60 goes into this breaker the PV breaker and out of the top of the PV breaker it goes to the positive bus So here's another LB, some one inch pipe, uh, PVC, and this is coming from the solar panels, which are right now I have four Evergreen ES190s, 190 watt each, 760 watts total all together. They're really not as much as I'd want to have, so what I did was about three or four days ago, I um, went ahead and bought 12 Kyocera 205 volt 205 watt solar panels so it's 12 more panels so I'll have 16 panels all together so you see this uh, hinge here basically it's just a bolt and it has one in the middle and it has one on the end and basically this allows me to be able to change the angle right now it's set up for summer and what I'll do is this edge here will drop down to here and I'm gonna pull that out on all three spots and I'll put them up here and lengthen that and basically that's gonna make my solar panels um, more perpendicular to the Sun when it becomes winter time when the Sun is lower in the sky so these four panels, I have I have two sets of two, and each set of two is wired in series, and then those two sets of two are wired in parallel. They come into this junction box here, into some seal tight. Seal tight comes down into this midnight solar disconnect, and there it is. bottom here in this seal tight right there and they go into the bottom of the breaker and uh, the breaker screwed down to this little plate up top and that plate is basically connected to the number two feed that comes down and into this conduit and goes over to the power station and when I get my Kyocera panels here in a couple days um, I'm gonna have to I bought an extra 15 amp breaker because I thought maybe I'd use it But what happens is with the Kyocera panels. I'm gonna have those grouped together in groups of six and It turns out I'm gonna need 20 amp breakers. So I ordered and here's a lightning arrestor and basically um, I had to take the plus and I had to put it under the, uh, the number two feed that goes to the, uh, the positive bus here there, there wasn't any other place to put it, so that's what I had to do. Then the negative from the lightning arrestor goes to the negative bus there. And then the ground goes to the ground back there in the back, which is kind of hard to see. And this is grounded here. And it goes to a ground rod, which is buried in the ground there. So we're back here at the power station and um, we can talk about the wind turbine now. Basically I bought a 2.5 kW ARE wind turbine and uh, they probably shouldn't call it a 2.5, they should probably call it a 3 kW or 3.5 because of the output that it actually puts out. Um, I've been real happy with it. And basically the way the wind tur turbine works is it generates AC power unsynchronized and um, you have to take that AC power and convert it to DC because I have the battery charging system. And this is the controller. And basically what happens is uh, the 
AC circuits from the wind turbine, there's three of them, they come into the bottom of this box, this controller box. So here's the wind turbine, um, but unfortunately the wind's not blowing right now. So it's not producing any power, but what we can do is talk a little bit about the electrical. So what's happening from the turbine, there's three power wires, it's three phase, so there's three phases coming down the pole. And the type of wire that I use actually to go down the pole is some of that um, underground UF cable which is extremely hard to uh, to get the cables out or get the wires out and everything because of the jacket on it is so stiff and durable anyway those three wires come into this box and I'm not going to open the box but basically there's three wires in and then there's three wires coming out the bottom of it through the ground and into the power station now this disconnect here Basically what it does is it's wired up with a breaker and basically it is wired so that when you turn the breaker on it shorts the two of the power wires and basically what that's for is an emergency um, shut off because when you ground when you ground the um, two of the phases together or all three of them together it basically stops the turbine from spinning so this is an emergency cut off for the turbine and in here I have two uh, lightning arresters and um, I could have probably uh, well I couldn't only use one because each lightning arrestor only has to, it'll only do two hot wires so basically I have four I can do four hot wires but what I did was I doubled up on one of the uh, power wires come from the turbine so double it up I just basically took uh, a wire from each one and put it on one hot wire and there's nothing wrong with that and this is the gin pole and basically it lays on the ground all the time and the guy wires are tied to the end of it on the turnbuckles and this is how you raise and lower it Basically, you disconnect from here. You make sure you have a winch cable on here. And going back to the winch, which you can't see. Ah, right here is the winch. And this winch is rated for 900, I'm sorry, 9,500 pounds. Anyway, you connect that connect that winch cable to here, and then you disconnect this, and this whole pole will start going up into the air, right? Because on the other side, I have another winch, which is a lot smaller. And this winch here basically is connected to the pole, and what happens is you use this winch to start pulling it down, and the other winch at the same time you let it out and pretty soon the gin pole and this pole will start straightening up like that and the center of gravity will start pulling this down start pulling the turbine down and of course your winch cable over here will tighten up and that's when you just start letting it out and dropping the turbine down so the three-phase power wires come in through the ground into this conduit. Then they come into this box. I have actually two lightning arresters on this one as well. And what I did was I chose an, a different wire than I did out here. Um, I chose a different wire to double up on. So the wires come in this box, they come up the conduit, and they come across the top. Over here, come down and to go into the bottom of the controller that I talked about earlier and 
they basically come and you plug onto this terminal block. They come back out of this terminal block and they eventually come down out of the bottom of this box through this metal flex duct and into the bottom of the FM80 modified wind turbine controller. This FM80 is a multi power point tracking controller for the ARE 2.5 kW wind turbine. And out of the bottom of this guy, um, it goes into the FWDC and those wires plug onto the bus back here, positive and negative.